Every Man's Way of the Cross by Clarence Enzer Introduction to the Stations of the Cross Christ Speaks These fourteen steps that you are about to walk, you do not take alone. I walk with you. Though you are you, and I am I, yet we are truly one, one in Christ. And therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago, and your way now, are also one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will only be complete when you have crowned them by your life. First station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. In Pilate's hands, my other self, I see my father's will. Though Pilate is unjust, he is the lawful governor, and he has power over me. And so the Son of God obeys a son of man. If I can bow to Pilate's rule, because this is my father's will, can you refuse obedience to those whom I place over you? We reply, My Jesus Lord, obedience cost you your life. For me it costs an act of will, no more, and yet how hard it is for me to bend. Remove the blindness from my eyes that I may see that it is you whom I obey in all who govern me. Lord, it is you. Second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. This cross, this chunk of tree, is what my Father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life. And yet my Father chose them too. For you. Receive them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow. One ounce too heavy for your strength. We reply. My Jesus, Lord, ta I take my daily cross. I welcome the monotony that often marks my day. Discomforts of all kinds. The summer's heat, the winter's cold. My disappointments, tensions, setbacks and cares remind me often that in carrying my cross, I carry yours with you. I thought I bear a sliver only of your cross. You carry all of mine except a sliver in return. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The God who made the universe and hold it in existence by his will alone becomes as man too weak to bear. A piece of time as weight. How human is his weakness is the son of man. My father willed it thus. I could not be your model otherwise. If you could be my other self you also must accept without complaint your human frailties. Lord Jesus, how can I refuse? I willingly accept my weaknesses, my irritations and my moods, my headaches and fatigue, all my defects of body, mind and soul. Because they are your will for me, these handicaps of my humanity, I gladly suffer them. Make me content with all my discontents, but give me strength to struggle after you. Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. My mother sees me whipped. She sees me kicked and driven like a beast. She counts my every wound. But though her soul cries out in agony, no protest or complaint escapes her lips or even enters on her thoughts. She shares my martyrdom and I share hers. We hide no pain, no sorrow from each other's eyes. This is my father's will. We reply. My Jesus, Lord, I know what you are telling me. To watch the pain of those we love is harder than to bear our own. To carry my cross after you, I too must stand and watch the sufferings of my dear ones. The heartaches, sicknesses and grief of those I love. And I must let them watch mine too. I do believe for all those who love you, all things work together unto good. They must. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. My strength is gone. I can no longer bear the cross alone. And so, legionnaires, make Simon give me aid. This Simon is like you, my other self. Give me your strength. Each time you lift some burden from another's back, you lift as with your very hand the cross's awful weight that crushes me. We reply, Lord, Make me realise that every time I wipe a dish, pick up an object off the floor, assist a child in some small task, or give another preference in traffic or in the store, each time I feed the hungry, clothe the naked, teach the ignorant, or lend a hand in any way, it matters not to whom. My name is Simon, and in the kindness I extend to them, I really give to you. The sixth station of the cross, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks, can you be brave enough, my other self, to wipe my bloody face? Where is my face, you ask? At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears, at work when tensions rise, on playgrounds, in the slums, the courts, the hospitals, the jails. Wherever suffering exists, my face is there. And there I look for you to wipe away my blood and tears. We reply, Lord, what you ask is hard. It calls for courage and self-sacrifice, and I am weak. Please give me strength. Don't let me run away because of fear. Lord, live in me and act in me and love me. And not in me alone, in everyone so that we may reveal no more your bloody but your glorious face on earth. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. The seventh step my other self is one that tests your will. From this fall, learn to persevere in doing good. The time will come when all your efforts seem to fail and you will think, I can't go on. 
Then turn to me, my heavy laden one, and I will give you rest. Trust me and carry on. We reply, Give me your courage, Lord, when failure presses heavily on me and I am desolate. Stretch out your hand to lift me up. I know I must not cease but persevere in doing good. But help me, Lord, alone there is nothing I can do. With you I can do anything you ask. I will. The Eighth Station Jesus Consoles the Women We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. How often have I longed to take the children to Jerusalem and gather them to me, but they refused. But now these women weep for me, and my heart mourns for them, mourns for their sorrows that will come. I comfort those who seek to solace me. How gentle can you be, my other self? How kind? We reply, my Jesus, your compassion in your passion is beyond compare. Lord, teach me, help me to learn. When I would snap at those who hurt me with their ridicule, those who misunderstand or hinder me with some misguided helpfulness, those who intrude upon my privacy, then help me to curb my tongue. May gentleness become my cloak. Lord, make me kind like you. The Ninth Station Jesus Falls for the Third Time We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. Completely drained of strength, I lie collapsed upon the cobblestones. My body cannot move. No blows, no kicks can rouse it up. And yet, my will is mine. And so is yours. Know this, my other self. Your body may be broken, but no force on earth and none in hell can take away your will. Your will is yours. We reply, My Lord, I see you take a moment's rest, then rise and stagger on. So I can do, because my will is mine. When all my strength is gone, and guilt and self-reproach press me to earth and seem to hold me fast, protect me from the sin of Judas, save me from despair. Lord, never let me feel that any sin of mine is greater than your love. No matter what my past has been, I can begin anew. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. Behold my other self, the poorest king who ever lived. Before my creatures I stand stripped. The cross my deathbed, even this is not my own. Yet who has ever been so rich? Possessing nothing, I own all, my father's love. If you too would own everything, be not solicitous about your food, your clothes, your life. We reply, my Lord, I offer you my all, whatever I possess and more, myself. Detach me from the craving of prestige, position, wealth. 
Root out of me all trace of envy of my neighbour who has more than I. Release me from the vice of pride, my longing to exalt myself and lead me to the lowest place. May I be poor in spirit, Lord, so that I can be rich in you. Eleventh Station Jesus is Crucified We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Can you imagine what a crucifixion is? My executioners stretch my arms. They hold my hand and wrist against the wood and press the nail until it stabs my flesh. Then with one heavy hammer smash, they drive it through and pain bursts like a bomb of fire in my brain. They seize the other arm and agony again explodes. Then, raising up my knees so that my feet are flat against the wood, they hammer them fast too. My God, I look at you and think, is my soul worth this much? What can I give you in return? I, here and now, accept for all my life whatever sickness, torment, Agony may come. To every cross I touch my lips. O blessed cross that lets me be with you, a co-redeemer of my fellow men. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. The cross becomes a pulpit now. Forgive them, Father. You will be with me in paradise. There is your mother. There, your son. I thirst. It is complete. To speak, I have to raise myself by pressing on my wrists and feet, and every move engulfs me in new waves of agony. And then, when I have borne enough, have emptied my humanity, I let my mortal life depart. We reply, My Jesus, God, what can I say or do? I offer you my death with all its pains, accepting now the time and kind of death in store for me. Not by a single instant would I lengthen my life span. I offer you my death for my sins and those of my fellow men and women. My God, my God, forsake us not. We know not what we do. Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass is complete, but not my mother's and not yours, my other self. My mother still must cradle in her arms the lifeless body of the son she bore. You too must part from those you love, and grief will come to you. In your bereavements, think of this. A multitude of souls were saved by Mary's sharing in my Calvary. Your grief can also be the price of souls. We reply. I beg you, Lord, help me accept the partings that must come. From friends who go away, my children leaving home, and most of all, my dear ones, when you shall call them to yourself. Then give me grace to say, As it has pleased you, Lord, to take them home, I bow to your most holy will, and if by just one word 
I might restore their lives against your will, I would never speak. Grant them eternal joy. Fourteenth Station Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. So ends my mortal life. But now another life begins for Mary and for Magdalene, for Peter and for John and for you. My work as man is done. My work within and through my church must now commence. I look to you, my other self, day in, day out, from this time forth, be my apostle, victim, saint. We reply. My Jesus Lord, you know my spirit is as willing as my flesh is weak. The teaching you could not impart, the sufferings you could not bear, the works of love you could not do. In your short life on earth, let me impart and bear and do through you. But I am nothing, Lord. Help me. Conclusion Christ Speaks I told you at the start, my other self, my life was not complete until I crowned it by my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it by your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and trust that all that happens has my mark in it. A simple fiat, this is all it takes. A breathing in your heart, I will it, Lord. So seek me not in far off places, I am close at hand. Your workbench, office, kitchen, these are altars where you offer love, and I am with you there. Go now, take up your cross, and with your life, complete your way. Closing prayer. Jesus, you love me so much that you are willing to suffer and die on the cross for me. Thank you. Make my love for you and for all my brothers and sisters grow stronger every day. I want to always think, act and speak as you would. Help me to spread the peace and joy of your resurrection everywhere I go. Amen.